Hello, welcome back to Bucks County Beer Reviews. Today I have a gift beer to do. It's a uh, Boxer Lager. It was sent to me by Jerry Fort, the beer review guy. He's out in Oklahoma. Uh, this is a 5% ABV. Uh, brewed by Minhas. Brewed and bottled by Minhas Craft Brewery, Monroe, Wisconsin. And what else do we got on here? Nothing really, nothing really important written on there other than that. This gets a 2.14 on untapped. That's pretty bad. With 3,504 ratings. Boxer Lager is made in small batches and is handcrafted using pure two-row barley grown and malted in Bigar, Saskatchewan. That is a town. I looked it up. B-I-G-G-A-R. Big R, Saskatchewan. Premium hops from the Pacific Northwest, deep well water, and our proprietary yeast. It is placed in cold storage, which is lagered, for a minimum of 35 days, resulting in clean, crisp, smooth tasting beer. Let's see if it's a 214 or if I think it's higher. Uh, it's been in my fridge for a while. He sent me this one and he sent me old style lager, which I reviewed a while back. And now we're getting around to this one. All right, here we go. It's a nice looking beer. Light carbonation wants to pour settled down. No particular aroma other than a little bit of sweet maltiness. It's not very strong, it's rather faint. Okay. All right, we got it all in there. It's got a decent little head on it. Got a few bubbles coming up, not many. Let's try that head. Not much flavor, a little bit malty. Really not much going on with a head. Let's try the body, cheers. Hmm. Got a little bit of a strange flavor going on. What is that? It's a little different than the other lagers that I've had. It's not terrible. Uh, it doesn't come across as something I want to drink a lot of. I'm not picking up any bitterness at all. IBUs are probably 10, if that. The mouthfeel's not bad. Nice medium mouthfeel. The maltiness is a little bit different. That's what it is. Whatever it is, it's not quite as enjoyable as like a regular, any other lager that I've ever had. Except maybe for something very cheap. It's drinkable, but if I had a 30 pack of it, I would be drinking them just to get rid of them. Not because I would enjoy them. I can't really explain it any better than that. It has a little bit of a dryness to it. Um, maybe it's the lack of sweetness. I mean, the sweetness is rather low. I think I'm going around in circles here. I would give that a D plus. 
I wouldn't give it a 214 though, I'd give it a 2.2. How about that? I'll improve it a little bit. Because it is drinkable. All right, uh, Boxer Lager, I don't recommend it. It tastes like cheap beer. I thank Jerry for sending it though. I always like to try new ones, whether they're good or bad, I like to try them. Except sour beers, I don't want sour beers. I just don't like them. <coughs> Excuse me. I picked out two beer cans. One is one that everybody knows, Pabst Blue Ribbon. I have showed this before. This is a flat top. So it's from the 1950s, I would imagine. Or maybe the early 60s. It's a pretty can though, I like it. And the other one is Lucky Bach Beer. The finest of them all, it says right on the can. And it's brewed by Falstaff Brewing Corporation in Cranston, Rhode Island, Fort Wayne, New Orleans, and St. Louis, and Galveston, and Omaha. A lot of places. All aluminum can. That's a nice can. I did order, I've been rerunning these beer cans. I did finally buy some more beer cans on eBay. I got some of the Schlitz, not Schlitz, Schmidt's Wildlife Series coming. So it'll be something new to look at when they get here. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. What did I give that? A D? Something like that. D or D plus. A 2.2. That I remember. Thanks for watching. And thank you again, Jerry. I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to doing some more beer trades with you down the road. Catch you next time. Bye.